you will utilize a Gaggle email address in order to take part in SuperNet courses. Go to www.gaggle.net. This front page changes quite often, but always you will find a login button somewhere up in the corner. Select the login button and it will take you to the place where you need to log in. If by some chance your page says something then other than gaggle.net, you need to click here and erase that. Some students will have a gaggle email address, so it may say your school district.gaggle.net, and that will not be the gaggle address that you need to use for SuperNet courses. Your username in our SuperNet courses will be your first name dot last name with VS after it. I'm going to log in with a student named Sample Student. Their first name is Sample and their second name is Student and I put a VS after it. Your initial password will be SuperNet. So I'm going to type that in. When I first type that in, I will get a page that says that I need to agree to all of the terms and conditions of Gaggle. I will click accept on that page and then I will be brought to the page that you see here. It is important that you understand that Gaggle is a monitored email. Anything that you say within email, within chat, inside the Gaggle system is sent to your teacher. They may get into your account at any time. All of the things that you do are kept in history. So therefore, you want to use this like it is a business account and you only do your educational work there. You may correspond with students in your class, but those are the only other students that you should correspond with. When you come to this page, you need to reset your password. So I don't want it to be SuperNet anymore. I want it to be Candy. So I'm going to reset it to Candy. Then I have to confirm it. Now it's asking me for an outside email address. This is in case you forget your password. It has to have somewhere else to send it. So I have a school address. I'm going to put that in here. and save it. Now this will load my inbox. Notice you have a calendar over here that you may utilize if you want to keep up with your assignments and it will help you with that. You also may go back to your inbox and this is where you will receive your mail. Notice right now I do not have anything in my mail. One of the things that you want to check is your account information. This is over here. You go to my account. It gives you your name, what your email address is. You can change your password again here if you'd like to. Also, if you use another account, let's say you use a Gmail account, and you want to get copies of your assignments forward to that account, you can say forward new mail notifications to my forwarding email address, and you can add a forwarding email address right here. So I had an alternate address in there. I may want to send all my forwarded email to that address. That way you don't have to check that all the time. You can also add your cell phone so that it will notify you if you are receiving messages from your teacher. I will leave that up to you as to whether you do that or not. Going back to your inbox, This is the way you check your mail. That's just to send out a notification to receive mail. And this is where you can write your mail. You hit Compose. You can put in who you want to write your email to. 
and then the subject and go ahead and write your email the way you would any other email. If you have any further questions on using Gmail, excuse me, using Gaggle, don't hesitate to contact me or your teachers.